Hello again everyone. Well today I've come to Brampton Woods to go for a bit of a walk. Well these woods are managed by the Wildlife Trust. I've been a Wildlife Trust member for a few years now. Uh, I guess they do some quite good stuff really but uh, don't often visit their places so probably should come a bit more I guess. I've just picked up a little leaflet which says that this is the second largest woodland in Cambridgeshire. Uh, 132 hectares of woodland here and uh, it says it's 900 years old so uh, I guess not many of the trees are that age but uh, maybe there's been a wood here that long eh? Well this is the main path through but uh, I spotted there's a little side track here I think I might go up that. Now, my intention today started out to be to go up to the Peak District to have a bit of a walk but uh, got quite a lot to do at home lots of jobs and stuff and it takes uh, about two or three hours to drive up there and uh, another two or three hours to drive back so I uh, couldn't really set aside the whole day so this is quite a good alternative kind of forget what's nearby really This is supposed to be a very good place for spotting wildlife, flora and fauna, that sort of thing. Now I'm uh, far from a wildlife expert, but uh, you never know what we might see. I guess this is probably not a great time of year to come looking for wildlife, because uh, it's in the winter, everything's a bit bare. Mind you, I suppose it's all still got to be here somewhere, isn't it? Everything pretty mossy in the woods. This time of year. Quite nice though. I do like the walk in the woods. Well, I can hear plenty of birds. They're kind of keeping themselves hidden at the moment. Maybe if I was uh, very quiet and stood still, I'd see a bit more. No wolves or bears or anything. <laughs> they do show badgers on the leaflet. Maybe there's some badgers in here, but I uh, guess you've got to be pretty lucky to see a badger. Maybe come at dawn or dusk and uh, hang around where they, where they live. Also back using my uh, handheld gimbal device. So uh, hopefully this video is nice and steady for you. Well, it seems I've... Uh, walked right out to the edge of the woods. I guess this is like a perimeter track that's uh, going around here. That way looks like it might be heading back to the car park. Maybe I'll try this way. Nice little hollow tree there look. I reckon that might be the entrance to Fairyland. Yeah, just popped out of the uh, end of the woods there and just uh, Having a look, see what we can see, see all the road works down there. Actually quite high up here on the hill, so uh, pretty good view. Although maybe the road works aren't the prettiest thing to look at. Oh, back in the woods now, we're we'll have a walk along this nice wide open clearing sort of path area. Not bad weather for a walk today. It's uh, sun's trying to poke through the clouds a little bit. Oh, look at that! What a cracking view down that clearing. I, however, think I'm going to go this way. Ah, so uh, what's this? I reckon this is uh, one of those platforms that you climb up with your rifle and uh, wait to shoot the deer. I guess sadly, it is. Uh, always necessary in these places to keep the deer populations down they don't have many natural predators here in the UK I guess no wolves these days 
if they get too out of control they just uh, eat everything I suppose maybe that isn't what it is maybe they just sit up there and wait for the wildlife but I suspect they do uh, shoot the deer off that now oh, this is a uh, really nice walk it would have been nice to get up to the Peak District and go up a bit of a hill but uh, this is a very pleasant alternative Once again, it looks like I'm coming to the edge of the wood. I'm not particularly following any route. I'm just ambling about, seeing what I can find. Ah, it says in the uh, leaflet that uh, this wood was mentioned in the Doomsday Book, which uh, does make it a, a pretty old wood. I guess they kept animals and stuff in here and used it for uh, hazel, it says. Making hazel, well, making, growing hazel and uh, making hay, that sort of thing, presumably in the clearings rather than the wood itself. And then much later on, it was uh, owned by the Ministry of Defence, part of the safety area for the Grafham firing range. So it had a few uses over the years, I guess. I think firing ranges and sort of Ministry of Defence use are responsible for quite a few of these places being preserved and sort of not ripped out and built over or farmed that sort of thing well, we're back on one of these main rides through the woods i'm starting to get a little bit thirsty you know now yeah, this looks like it might be a suitable spot for tea Oh, that's nice tea. Could have done with a biscuit to go with it, but uh, I forgot to bring any. Looks like some work's been going on around here to uh, clear a little bit of the forest, and uh, they've been burning the wood by the look of it on these metal platforms. Not seen that done before. Well, unfortunately, I have to be home by two o'clock, so I think uh, I'm going to have to start to head back towards the car park but that's not too bad because i just follow this ride and it takes me straight back to the car park i think explored half the wood uh, this is like a central ride that goes through the middle been all the way around that side but not the other side so there's plenty more to go at should I wish to come back another day which I'm sure I will I guess Nikki and probably Mia would uh, enjoy walking around here especially in the summertime so there you go that was Brampton Wood my phone tells me I walked about two miles so not exactly the uh, longest walk in the world, but it was very pleasant. Well, that's all for now. If you enjoyed it, press like. Subscribe if you want to see some more. And ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new.